Hi, 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 hi. My name is Erica LaShawn. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're new here. Welcome. If you're not new here, welcome. It's 4-24-24. No. It's 8.48 p.m. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe. So, okay. I don't know. It, take me about, it takes me about 20 minutes to kind of think about stuff. And I'll be like writing stuff down and I'll just be like, boom. So I got two different ones. I'm like, uh. and I'm prompted by my, my emotions, my feelings, my thoughts, you know, stuff like that. I'm scared to touch stuff. I want to turn the volume up, but I think it's okay. So. I want to talk about horseback riding. I've I've done it once. Awesome experience. Shout out to LaJoya. Hi. My childhood friend, we still friends to this day. She's the only child. That LaJoya had it all, honey. <laughs> LaJoya had it all. So she was going horseback ride. She was like, Erica, you want to come with me? I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all. It is an awesome experience. It's totally awesome. And if you ever go horseback riding, don't wear anything that you're uh, that you like or that you care about. Cause it's like an animal. It's dirty. They, you know. It, you know. Don't just don't wear nothing that you care about. You know. Don't do that. That's how we show up. We like fourteen. Excuse me. I'm I'm going with twelve. <laughs> yeah, cause it wasn't that. I have timestamps. I'm going with like eleven. I'm going with like 11 or 12. I have I have mental time stamps. So, we get there. Don't wear nothing cute. Don't wear nothing that you care about. Just go for the experience. So, we on there. Mm. Her mother's name was Miss Jackson. Rest in peace. Mm. Anyway... Anyway, <laughs> all right, let me keep moving. So, the instructor, he on a horse too. So, we all on horses. Miss Miss Jackson in the car. Don't get me on that haunted house. Check me out. <laughs> don't, don't get me on that haunted house. Miss Jackson was like, oh, you want to go? Uh, I'm going to be in a car. Uh. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Me and LaJoya on these horses. So the instructor said, whatever y'all do, put, do this, do, pull it around. You know, he was trying to help us or whatever. You got kids on horses, child. <laughs> you got well. I almost died, y'all. I almost died. I need to go to therapy. He said, whatever y'all do, don't go down that road, that path right there. Because that path takes them to the stable. And they know the stable. They know their home. <clears throat> they know their home. So don't go that way. So we all... So it was all right. It was all right. Cha, my horse. Cha, oh my God, y'all. How about that? Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. I guess my horse said, well, I'm going home. Like, forget it. My horse said, forget it, y'all. Oh, Lord. My horse said, forget it, y'all. Y'all, my horse went into like when you on t when you watch tv and you see a horse that's like in a full blown a full blown uh run gal forget galloping i know what a gallop is full blown full blown 
my horse went full blown. I'm I am a my I'm a kid on a horse that then went full blown, and I'm just on it. I'm on it. If you can picture that. If you can imagine that. I was there. So my horse took off. And I could hear the instructor behind. I could hear him saying, pull the reins. Pull the reins. I could hear it. He was like, oh my God. Uh, that man was like, pull the reins. Y'all. <clears throat> Me and that horse, me and that horse got to a point. It was a fence. I thought we was about to jump the fence. That's, that's the fear. It, that's the fear. I thought me and that horse was going to jump that fence. Guess what? That horse said, nah, I'm going to take a right. The horse didn't jump the fence. He took a right. I can hear the instructor saying, pull the right. He was yelling at me. I, I thought I and then at this point I'm on the saddle, but I'm hanging off on the side of a horse. I know that instructor was like, Oh my god, this child about to die on my clock. So I'm on the side. So now I can't even stay on properly. I'm on the side of a horse and this horse is going crazy. The instructor was yelling at me saying, pull the reins. Every, every muscle in my body, every muscle in my body. I almost choked that horse. <clears throat> I almost choked that horse. <clears throat> That's how hard I pulled them reins. I almost messed them up. Her, him, her, whatever. I'm like, oh my God. I, I took everything inside of me and I yanked that horse so bad and I got the horse under control. <clears throat> and we made it back and it was all right. And I went home and didn't tell my mama nothing. <laughs> I walked in and was like, ah. I almost died. What's for dinner? All right, that's my horse. My my riding a horse. My I, my next thing. I really want to ride a horse in the ocean. So that's on my list or whatever. It's beautiful, and they just walk. They don't they don't mess around. They ain't about to they ain't about to have you all splashing around. No, nope, they just take you over there. They know. That's my next one. All right, so let me jump. <clears throat> I just saw something. This was in the New, the, the New York Post today. Or maybe yesterday. The Simpsons killed off a 34-year-old character and fans are shocked. Well, guys, it happens. So, I'm not going to... Uh, let's see. They killed... Uh, Larry. I'm a fan. I guess Larry died, y'all. And um people mad or whatever. Um here, okay, third. Oh, he was on there for thirty four years, y'all. Well, people mad, they may come. Okay. Oh they made up a a bogus fishing tale. Lifetime fans were shocked by the lost. Quote unquote, just learn that they killed off Larry on The Simpsons tomorrow. I need a minute. One posted on X. Why is Twitter called X? That, this, this, this mess is crazy. After the show aired, another user mourned the character. Quote unquote, I can't believe they killed off Larry. Uh, I don't know Larry's last name D A L R Y M P L E Dal Dalrymple Dalrymple on The Simpsons last night R I P Larry they said people's okay. well I guess so I don't know so I guess Larry died y'all what happened.
Hi, Daddo. Oh. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting there. Well, oh, he went on a road trip to scatter. He went on a road trip to scatter his ashes. Did he fake his death? As Larry was a background character only, with little only only known about him beyond his fondness for booze and incoherently muttering. The script references how vague his story is. Oh, Larry. Oh, I don't think they... Larry, one of Homer's fellow bar patrons, patrons, appeared on The Simpsons for 34 years at 20th Century Fox, courtesy Everett Collect... Get to the... Homie and company who realized they hardly knew the guy feel lousy when Larry's mother tells him that he described the Moles gents as his best friends and asked them to share some fond memories. They make up with a bogus fishing tale. Long-term fans were shocked by the loss. Uh, Larry, y'all, yeah, whoever the voice, Larry, you... Whoever who did that voice of Larry Child, you got fire, huh? Next. They wrote you right off that stuff. And it, it made me go right here. And I, I'm about to get off. Because it prompted me to... Um, what I'm looking at is... Top 20 major family guy characters who tragically died. I'm a fan of family guy. So, it's a lot of people on Family Guy that, that died or whatever. But, and I'm going to get on this paper. I was about to curse. Stop. Alright. Oh, that's number one. Oh. Uh-uh. Mayor West. Mayor, Mayor Adam West died. Mayor Adam, Mayor Adam was that. That's not what I was going for. And then Stewie, Stewie tried to kill his mama, but almost kills uh, Lois when death is out of the commission. Uh, okay, well, I'm okay. So I'm, I'm okay. Anyway, so I don't want to be correct on this. That's a, that's the only reason why I'm flipping this paper. We all know Stewie hated his mother, you know, whatever. If you, if you're a fan of the show, I I saw it. That's why I printed it. All right. So if I don't find it, I'm gonna just talk about it. All right. I'm gonna just talk about it. All right. So one time I tuned in to Family Guy and um, I saw an episode. I was totally unprepared. And, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, God. Uh, Quagmire. All right. So, Quagmire had his sister come to visit him. Excuse the paper. Quagmire had his cousin, uh, his sister, to visit him. And she brought her boyfriend, her abusive boyfriend. And he was like beating her up, like openly. And uh, yeah, I'm not. I, I I don't like. I'm not gonna like the sound of this paper when I re when I uh, review. Anyway, <clears throat> so Quagmire's sister came to visit, and she brought her boyfriend. And it was like a normal episode. Like, you're watching it like, oh, okay, whatever. But then the sister's boyfriend was openly abusing her. And you know Family Guy, if you're a fan of the show or whatever. You know, they, they'll have full-blown out um, f fist fights in the living room or whatever. So they really didn't hold back with the abuse. Uh, so they were really showing Quagmire's 
sister being physically abused by her boyfriend. And so I was in, I was there in real time thinking like, what am I watching? And then Quagmire went to, um, what's the daddy name? Whatever his, whatever the daddy name is. He went to the daddy and was like, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to hurt him. I'm about to hurt him. You know? And Quagmire was like, this is what we gonna do. And they came up with a plan. What is the daddy name? They came up with a plan. And this this fat daddy was right with the plan. You know the daddy on um whatever his name is. Whatever. I'm all right. No, I'm about to look it up. <laughs> anyway. So Quagmire came up with um, a plan to y'all yeah, to kill the to kill the guy, and they aired it. Peter, His name is Peter, the daddy on Family Guy. His name is Peter. Quagmire came up with. A plan to kill Peter. And the guy in the wheelchair. Was in on it. Because he be in on everything. Alright. So let me speed this up. They they came up with a plan. Uh, they got him in the woods. Peter Griffin, Lois Griffin, Stewie Griffin, Meg Griffin, Glenn Quagmire, Brian Griffin, Joe Swanson, Chris Griffin, Cleveland Brown. Shout out. He, he, he's Cleveland Brown shot, sh spun off on a, spun off on a different show and Cleveland Brown's voice is a white guy. Yes. Herbert, the pedophile. Sorry. Adam West, Bonnie Swanson. Bonnie was married to that man, that wheelchair child. She stayed pregnant. Anyway, back to the show. I'm a fan. They set up Quagmire's girlfriend, uh, Quagmire's sister's boyfriend into the woods. And they, they straight up killed him. And I just was thinking like, wait. So th it, that's what happened, y'all. That's what happened. And, and then the show went off. They went to the credits. And I was sitting there empty like, wait, y'all just killed somebody? I was thinking to myself, excuse me, parents. Because I like animated, excuse me, I like animated things, but I like them for adult stuff. Just because it's animated does not mean it's suitable for your children. And when it when it faded to black and when the credits came up, I said, wait a minute, they just killed somebody, y'all. I said, hold on. I said, this these are cartoons. These are cartoons. So I could see it in a different way, but in animation, it's kind of weird. They and they it and I ain't heard nothing else since they killed they killed Quagmire's girl Quagmire's sister's boyfriend in the woods and they and they left him there and then the show went off. I said, "Oh Lord, oh Lord, that's it, that's it." I've been watching y'all for years. The Simpsons, Family Guy. Don't go on Adult Swim. Don't don't you go on Adult Swim. Cause you're gonna be like, what are wh wh where is this world going to? And it's all dolls and animation and stuff like that. Don't you go on Adult Swim. My name is Eric LaShawn. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.